I do not wish to appear ungrateful. You have been generous. Some might say too generous to my family. But I did not realize that I was to be your whore. Nelly. Nelly. Nelly! It was a mistake. Did you send Catherine to me? Yes. She is the mother of your children. How could you be so cruel and to her? And for that, I shall always be grateful. But I do not love her. She comprehends nothing. She sees nothing. She's looking to find closure with the m memory, if you like, or the sort of the way this this intimate affair with Dickens had, I think, marked her in some way, and that it, I think you know, everyone, we all, arguably, have to find closure with past intimacies of all different kinds, and that was for me the kind of thing that I was the it was the hook for me. Every human creature is a profound secret and mystery to every other. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Dickens, it was what? remarkable. It was? Yes. I'm told these readings double sales. <laughs> you are an admirer of my husband's work, Miss Ellen? Of course. It is a fiction designed to entertain. Surely it's more than that. It changes us. He had a crisis. He, he fell deeply in love with Ellen Turnan, and it was a complete sort of um, a huge transition in his life. Uh, but, but obviously, his behaviour, it, it's difficult. He, was, he, was, he did act with cruelty. Um, and the film is, is, is trying not to give any sort of um, yeah, judgment on that, but just to show it, so it's, it's up to the audience. From your point of view, I mean, would you see the character as a sort of predatory figure? Because it's sort of, I mean, because you, you can sort of rationalise it and say well, it comes out of a crisis, but in, in, in the end, it's a sort of older man, younger woman. I think, I don't think predatory is the right word, because I think it was a very genuine love for both of them. I, I think it was very complicated. Obviously, Dickens is a very wealthy, very powerful man, and, and Nellie is, is a teenager and from a very poor background, so there's immediately a power imbalance, which in the film we're very keen to explore but I don't I, it wasn't his behavior didn't come out of a sort of um, uh, a predatory nature it was I think it was I think he felt like a boy I think mm. it was it was that he he fell in mm. love with this woman in a very powerful way I think because he's an older man I think it, it, it can it, it appears predatory because that's often the implication if it's a much older man pursuing a young woman, we automatically think, oh, predator. I think, I think Felicity's right, it was a, gen a genuine, a genuine you know, ob obsession, infatuation that became a, hu a huge love. And I do think that the love speech from Great Expectations, which is extraordinary, which we use in the film, I do think that's rooted in... He wrote Great mm. Expectations uh, two or three years into his, his um, discovery of Nelly, and uh, I think that was written. I, I would argue it's written for her. You are part of my existence, part of the little good in me, part of the evil. There is an insanity to his behavior. You could find a different life. A different life? What different life? What life is there for me? 